What a day. We're back with a pizza. Also addicts. Um, there has been a couple of criticisms um, or comments about my pronunciation. Um, I seem to call it the Isuzu Piazza or Piazza, um, sort of as it's spelt. Um, as I'm not sure what the real way of saying it is from now on, I'll just call it the pizza, as that's what it seems to have been nicknamed among my friends. But today we're, I was going to do a compression test. But uh, I appear to have lost the screwy in bit of the compression tester. And that won't last not long enough to sit in the hole properly. So I'll have to deal with that another day. But uh, so for now, I'm just changing the spark plugs. Uh, and then we'll change the oils and filter. Do, change, do a, a first change of the transmission fluid. Um because it is very brown and very dark, I'll just do a one change then once it's run for, you know, 10, 20 miles. Um, and all the old oil out of the torque converter has been mixed in with new oil. I will um, do another change and a filter change at that point. Obviously engine oil, air filter, oil filter, fuel filter when I can find it. I have no service manual for this. Um, and then we'll see how it runs. Uh, I'm hoping I can get it running well enough to get it up to the car wizards. And at that point, we'll do a brake fluid flush, uh, coolant flush, um, power steering, that sort of stuff. And uh, go from there, really. Uh, give it all a good bit of a clean up inside. And as long as I can get it running okay, for now, I'll then just get the weld or do the welding that needs doing and see about getting it MOT'd. Once it's MOT'd, it's running, it's usable. Then we'll start tidying up the other bits. Um, some of the wiring is atrocious, so I want to redo, I want to sort all that out. Um, some under the dash as well. Um, I'm sure there's going to be ball joints and rubbers and stuff like that that need doing. Once I get to the stage of using it, um, and then ultimately a bit of paint work, I'll probably paint all along the bottom, sort of below this line here, all the way along, just because there's lots of little scabs, nothing major, just lots of little scabs that uh, just blowing along there will tidy up. And then just a couple of little touch up bits here and there. And then a friend of mine, is going to mop. So how well it shows up on here, but all this paintwork's gone a bit pink and dull. So he's going to mop all that for me. But, um, but before we worry about any of that, I want to try and get it running properly because it is hunting and it just doesn't really want to go. Um, I also bung some fresh fuel in it, some nice nice 99 octane premium fuel i don't know if it needs it but uh as you may well know now in the uk the normal fuel is now e10 or as of next month it's e10 um so in the corvette and in this i'll be putting premium fuel in um while i know the corvette doesn't need the extra octane and this probably doesn't um i will be using it just because it's still e5 but uh, for now, let's go on with changing the plugs. All right, spark plugs changed. One of them's fallen under the car, which I'll retrieve shortly, but they don't look too bad. A little bit oily around the top there, but I think that's where someone's quite messy filling it up. But uh, yeah, I sound out of breath, which I know is nothing too unusual. I can't find me thing for me trolley jack. So I've had to dig out of the garage. 
old fashioned scissor jack, which is hard work when you're old and unfit and fat. But uh, yeah, so let's drain out the transmission fluid. All right, so while we're leaving that transmission fluid to drain, let's have a look at this air filter. I'm guessing it's just unclip that. There's a bit of foam. Unclip there. And there's bound to be a clip I can't see. Yes, down there. Why oh, do they always put things in stupid places? Because it's oily and therefore slippery. And I need the hands of a seven-year-old. Ah, let's get a screwdriver or something. Look, look. Well, I think I've done about all I'm gonna do today. That's bloody hot. It might not look that hot, but trust me it is. Drained the transmission fluid. Um, which I can top up in a minute. I've drained the oil, engine oil. Um, I'm not gonna top that up at the moment because I haven't done the oil filter. I've got the wrong tool. The chain thing I've got won't go on it. So I need the uh, one that sort of clamps on the bottom of it. Um, transmission, sorry, diff. I cannot shift the plug and I'm not prepared to put too much force on it while it's only being held up by um, a scissor jack with an axle stand sort of there for good measure. I'd rather it was all up properly, um, both sides, and so I'll do that one another day, but that's not anything to do with the running of the vehicle. I haven't done the air filter simply because I can just not work out how to get that bloody thing out. Um, and it's too hot so I haven't really got the patience I should have so I'll deal with that another day haven't done a compression test because my compression tester I appear to have lost the the bit that screws in there and the pushy in bit won't fit but I've done the plugs and so mine's going to make me up some leads uh, the power steering fluid was basically empty so I filled that up so it's almost like a power steering fluid change <clears throat> He says um so yeah i think i'll just top up the transmission fluid before i forget uh, i need some fresh fuel but also i have noticed they don't appear to have a filler cap so i'm gonna need to get one of them So, uh, yeah, we're getting there, but, um, yeah, I just need some different tools, different thing for the oil filter, work out how to do the air filter, get the spark plug leads off a of mate, fresh fuel, and then we'll see how it runs. I'm going to need to do all the belts and stuff, but at the moment I just want to see how it runs. I just want to get it running before I start investing too much time and effort into it because if the head and everything's going to have to come off then you know we'll worry about all the rest of it later but uh so at the moment just see if we can get it running and i'll see if i can borrow my mate's compression tester to do that all right so day two we've got it up in the air a bit more today and proper actual stands underneath i have a tool somewhere here we go, get the oil filter off and uh, kindly borrow it off a friend and I'll have another go at doing the rear diff. So let's get on with that. There we go, one nice new oil filter on there, the old one there. So uh, yeah, it's all work to treat as you can see. You're right up between those pipes, um, the anti roll bar, and whatever they are, power steering pipes. 
Uh, so yeah, you need to attack it from the bottom, which is what that troll does. Yes. Uh, it goes without saying, but make sure you oil up the seal before you put it on. And uh, in this instance, I did just fill the oil filter up with oil before I put it on as well. So that's that job done. Let's have another go at the rear diff. Well, like so many things on this car, the diff, I've put the car down now so you can't really see, but the rear suspension linkage, anti -roll bar, rear anti-roll bar and rear tie rod end or watch linkage, whatever it is, is in the way of the diff filler plug. So even if I can get the drain plug off, I can't get a ratchet in to get the filler plug off. So we'll worry about that later when the car moves and I'll get it down to the car wizards and see if he's got a uh, slimmer ratchet that will go in there um yeah oh well but for the meantime let's bung some oil in it fill up the transmission put some fresh fuel in it and see what happens so to fill the atf up i've sort of um got this little arrangement which is uh, not ideal but it appears to be working at the moment long as I do it slowly and don't overfill that bottom one that I've just done. <sighs> this is a very bizarre car to work on. Nothing's accessible. Well to do the air filter it appears I've got to unbolt that bracket there and then unbolt this from here and then this can move out the way but there's a lot of oil in there and the filter is full of oil. So I'm not sure that bodes particularly well for the turbo. We will have to see. But first thing, let's clean all that oil out of there. Yeah, unfortunately, good old Euro car parts. It's the wrong filter. Bugger. And uh, so it's not gonna fit in there because it sticks right out here somewhere. Oh well, well I'll bolt that back in for now, I'll leave the filter out and try and order the correct filter. Oh joy. So I think we're basically ready. There's some transmission fluid in it, obviously I can't top, I'm assuming it's the same as other GM transmissions, I can't top it up fully until it's running and gone through the gears but there's some in there power steering is good brake fluid is good there's water in there i haven't obviously done the air filter because it's the wrong one batteries connect so and there's oil let me just double check the oil it's good and i quite like this little thing it's a couple of little prongs on the oil thing there don't know where that shows up, so you have to push it down and twist it so it won't pop out, which is good. So I think we'll start her up and see how she goes. Now it hasn't got fresh fuel in yet because I can't find my thing for the jerry can. But a mate has got one, so he's going to bring it over later. But uh, yeah, for now, we'll see how we go. It's in neutral, so hopefully it will start in neutral. in 
a bit. Fair to be back from Luke's. So there we go, that will be it for today, I know it wasn't much, but uh, it's bloody hot, I've already gone through four bottles of water, so um, yeah, and I've got other things to do today, so we will leave it there for now, and uh, carry on another day with the right tools, it always helps, so like, comment, subscribe for more on the pizza and other stuff. See you in a future video.